Hello, YouTubians. Okay, this video really is purely for my benefit, but of course, if it helps anyone else out with uh, similar problems to what I've been having, all well and good, because that's what YouTube's about, helping each other out. Uh, quite often, when I come up with a solution to a problem, I'll video it, because it's probably the next best thing to actually physically be in there. I mean, you can write it down, but... You know, you can't be actually uh, videoing it. And, um, well, that's what I found anyway. It helps me out. So, um, I've recently upgraded to uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11. Um, and I've been busy transferring over my effects plugins. And I've had some problems with the uh, keyframing on Pixel on Pixeland uh, Pixeland's Creative Ease, and it seems to uh, get confused between the Sony Vegas keyframe tool and the uh, Pixeland one. Okay, so but I've come up with a solution, uh, kind of a foolproof step-by-step -step guide. And this is it. Okay, so first of all, you get your video clip. In this case, I'm going to make it really simple for myself and just drop in some text like so. Okay, so that appears there. Sample text on the uh, video preview. Okay, then I'll close that particular window down because we're going to add an effects. And I'll choose my favourites. Uh, Pixeland Creative Ease effect, which is organic blur. I mean, normally this is a fantastic effects package. I quite often use it. Okay, and so it's all lovely and blurred there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, before I do anything else, okay, these are the steps that you need to follow. Okay, so in, instead of using the uh, Creative Ease's inbuilt uh, keyframing tool first of all I'm going to add a node to the beginning the cursor should be at the beginning there okay I'm going to add a node by clicking on the uh, the square uh, sorry the um, the cross there okay so that adds that to there there should be two nodes there although it's difficult to see because one's on top of the other so what you do is you drag one right to the end and this should make this process work now what i'm going to do is i'm going to animate this effect at the moment it's just purely a static kind of zoom in blur effect okay so just as an example what i'm going to do is click on the uh, keyframing button for the amount feature okay that's the simplest one okay so so we get a nice little uh, keyframing window here, which is the inbuilt one for um, Creative Ease. Now, right at the beginning, there's already a node there. So I'm going to drag that down to zero. Okay. And notice that instantly um, you can read that and there's no blur. Okay. So about halfway, just to make, just to demonstrate that this works... I'm going to put a node about halfway there, and then I'll raise that to about there. Okay, hang on a minute. Right, and then towards the end, I'm going to reverse the effects. Okay, just to, you know, so that you can see that it's working okay. And then I'll close that window down. You have to click on the OK button, which is that gr lovely green uh, tick there. And then we'll close down the Sony Vegas' video event effects window. And then what I've done is I've uh, put the cursor at the beginning of the clip there. I've looped it round. So when we click on play, you'll see that... The effect increases, it blurs, and then it reaches, and and then it goes back again. And then, of course, it goes back to the video, the beginning of the video clip. So the effect increases, and then it starts reversing so that you can actually read the thing, and so forth. 
And if you follow those simple steps, it should work. If you jump straight in and start using the keyframing, uh, the built-in keyframing in uh, Creative E's um, effects plugin, then it won't work. Okay, it will screw it up. Okay, but if you follow those simple steps, everything will be fine. I hope that's helped you out. Um, it's definitely going to help me out if I um, forget how to do this in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.